We partner with eight counties in this area, basically have MOUs in place. And one of our counties that we deal with is DeKalb County, Alabama. That particular truck was bought as a meth lab response unit. And talking to those guys, it was bought at the wrong time because when they got it bought and got it delivered it was when full-blown meth labs went on decline. So it had basically been sitting there and the district attorney, the sheriff, the police chief of Fort Payne, they're like, you know, this thing's just sitting here wasting. So we looked at it and it was like, okay, we'll give it a try. So we took basically a $110,000 piece of equipment. The county commission transferred it to us at no cost. We took over ownership of it, spent some money getting it checked out, new graphics put on it. We talked to ADECA, the Law Enforcement Traffic Safety Division, and was like, look, help me get stuff to put in it. So we got what I guess would re be referred to as a micro grant. I mean, it was a small amount of money, but it allowed us to put new camera equipment, metal detectors, all of that that we needed or could use at a scene. With a small grant of $15,000, we were able to, to subgrant JSU to help outfit the mobile forensic unit. Um, it helps provide a safe, dry, cool space for these guys to work in out in the field. Uh, as we all know, it gets pretty hot here in Alabama in the summertime, and uh, if you don't have a, a way to preserve your evidence on scene, then sometimes you lose your case because your case is your evidence. So with DeKalb County being gracious enough to pr provide the vehicle at no cost, we signed it over. We were able to provide funding to outfit the vehicle with the lights and the floodlights and any other essential equipment they may need while on a scene doing an investigation. The big advantage to the truck is it's not an everyday vehicle. You don't want to drive it every day, but on a day like today where it's raining, it gives you somewhere to sit down inside to work. Um, we can maintain a presence at a scene now for more than one day because we have plenty of consumable supplies in it. It's kind of a rolling warehouse as far as Am I going to run out of evidence bags? Am I going to run out of fingerprint tape? No, because I have the big truck here. So it's kind of a win-win for the area we serve. Um, with the vehicle, um, um, in conjunction with the training, um, a lot of times with this training, it, it, it provides the local officers the opportunity to work the case themselves. Um, I know Hopwood and Shane are always on call with all the uh, MOUs they have with the counties they serve, um, where, uh, where, where a case dictates the vehicle needs to come out, they get called out at all hours of the night and day to go work a case. But by providing these basic tools to these officers, uh, it allows for them to work cases at the local level um, without having to call in for the big resources, which, which are available to them um, on an as-needed basis. But uh, um, by providing the basic toolkits to them, they can work a lot of cases locally. We took something that was being underutilized and repurposed it into something that has become you know, a usable, valuable resource.